Good morning, my name is Jeremy Floden. We're here in West Palm Beach at Sailfish Marina, and we're gonna take you on a walkthrough through a 2018 45 GT Hatteras. So there are three amazing things that stand out to me about this boat. Number one is the pure fishability. Compared to our competitors, we have such a large cockpit. The second great thing about the 45 GT Hatters on this flybridge version is you have two stations, lower and upper. If you're fishing with a family, you can be down, hanging out with the kids, and fishing at the same point in time to come into the cockpit when they need help. Or if you're on a professional fishing tournament, you can be up top watching the spread or watching the kites. The third thing that I want to show you this morning is the tunnel design. It's hard to show you in the water, but it's a very special feature about this boat. In forward, it helps reduce cavitation and noise, but when backing in reverse on a fish, it helps cause lift, which makes it easier to plane out to chase the fish down. So all the way aft in the 45 GT, you have your transom. You have your in-deck transom live well here with lift doors on either side. So here you have the tuna lift gate with the tuna door. It's a great feature on the 45 GT. If you're fishing and you catch a big blue marlin, it's easy to bring the fish inside the boat. Wrapping around the cockpit in the 45 GT is a very functional fishing platform. You have the nice covering boards. You have in gunnel rod holders with backing plates. On the starboard side, as you can see, you have through hoss pipes here with cleats beneath. This makes it easy to dock the vessel. Underfoot here on the 45 GT Hatteras, you have three compartments. You have your port fish box, you have your starboard fish box, and you have your lazarette. Behind me, you see the mezzanine here. You have the in and out of the Glendinning Ease for when you're hooking up shore power. You have insulated fish boxes on both sides. Plus, you have a super easy access tackle station. When you step up onto the mezzanine, you have easy access to the bridge by this ladder, which we'll follow up with the bridge later. Center line in the mezzanine, you have your engine room access. This 2018 45 GT Hatteras is powered by twin C18 Caterpillar motors that are 1150 horsepower apiece. Walking forward, you have the oil change system, which is connected to the C18 Caterpillar motors, their transmissions, and the Onan 17KW generator. Leaving the engine room, stepping out onto the mezzanine, it flows very nicely into the lower helm. All the way aft, you have the sea acrylic enclosure. So when you walk into the lower helm on your starboard side, you have doors that open up to a tackle station, refrigerator, and ice maker. Above that, you have an AC vent. Finishing off the starboard side, you have an upgraded pompinette helm chair that is facing forward. In front of the forward-facing helm chair is a small charge storage location. Jumping to the port side now, all the way aft is your lower helm lounge. Standing here at the lower helm on the 45 GT, I'm going to take a minute to break down everything that you see here in front of me. On the port side here, all the way forward, you have your Hatteras monitoring system, which monitors your water tanks, your holding tank, your bilge alarms, and other alarms throughout the boat. Also above that, you have dual ICOM VHF radios. The heart of the helm displays two 17-inch touchscreen garments. On the left here, you have your sounder, which is chirp capable with high and low frequency. To the starboard, you have your GPS with radar overlay options. Below your two Garmin screens to port, you have your Garmin Autopilot, you have your Caterpillar control system, your side power bow thruster control, your Sea Fire system, and your Zip Wake. Zip Wake is a new technology that Hatteras is installing in all their new boats. 
When you put the boat into forward, it will start to automatically trim the vessel as needed. When you come back to neutral and you put the boat in reverse, it will automatically reset your trim tabs to zero for ease of backing down on a fish or putting the boat into a slip. Underneath the starboard Garmin, you have your dual Caterpillar displays, which will give you your engine hours, temperatures, and so on. Here on port and starboard side of the helm pod, you have two throttles, which are called Palm Beach controls. They were designed for effortless driving capabilities, being able to back down on a fish holding on with both hands or backing down into a slip. Another cool feature about the Palm Beach controls is you can reach over and you can hit sync on your Caterpillar display control panel here and you can select which throttle you would like to use as your main engine throttle without having to use both. Just after the helm pod, you have three upgraded Pompanet helm chairs with fully adjustable backrest, armrest, and footrests. From here, follow me down the steps into the living space. As you step down the stairs, on the starboard side, you step into the lower galley. The galley features marble countertops and book match natural walnut finishes throughout. You have a stainless steel KitchenAid refrigerator, along with a two burner cooktop with stainless steel line sink as well. After the galley is your breaker panel which you have a remote start to your Onan 17KW generator. You have your mezzanine freezer control along with your other breakers and your shore power switch over. Below the breaker panel, you have your second Gen Air fridge freezer combo unit. Center line overhead, you have a sunlight which is enclosed by the lower helm. All the way to the port side, you have your salon with a high-low teak table, TV, and ample storage. Immediately in front of the salon is your crew room with over-under bunks. To starboard, you have your day head. Finally, wrapping up the lower deck, you will move forward into the owner's suite. You have a pedestal berth with storage beneath. To port and starboard, you have his and hers cedar-lined hanging lockers, along with a port side aft-facing TV. On the starboard side, in the master stateroom, you have a private entrance into the head. From here, we're going to jump directly overhead and proceed to the bow. To port and starboard, you have larger than normal walkways with grab rails that make it effortless to get to the bow in any sea condition. The single piece top cap on the bow has three features that I really like. First is the non-skid that is underfoot. It makes the bow safe in any sea condition. Second is the bow rail. It gives you comfort and ease when maneuvering on the deck. Finally is the shape of the bow deck. In a rough sea, you might be taking waves over the bow. So with the design of the bow, it allows the water effectively and efficiently to flow off the deck. All the way forward is your pulpit that houses your ground tackle, which features an anchor, chain, windlass, and foot pedal controls. The final stop for today is the flybridge. On the starboard side of the mezzanine, you're going to take the ladder up to the flybridge. In the upper helm, you have a five-sided enclosure that protects you from the elements. You find two bench seats, one forward facing. The second seat is on the starboard side. Forward of the two helm chairs, you have a redundant helm station with all the controls that are featured below. On behalf of myself and Dennis and Yachting, I'd like to thank you for your time today. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a walkthrough, please contact me at any time.